Hello, grounded guys and gals, and welcome back to another grounded video. And today we're going to talk all about how to get comfy and why you need to get comfy and how it's really actually important to get comfy and how to get your base looking not such hot garbage like this. So let's jump right into it. And why do you need to get your comfy up? It is because of this thing right here. This is the pedal bed. This thing will not just help you sleep at night. It will give you comfy defense and comfy energy. Comfy energy is 10% reduction in exhaustion timer and comfy defense is 10% damage resistance. That's the same thing as human food for free just for sleeping in it. It's amazing. You have to make this bed, but how do you get there? How does comfy work? How does the radius of comfy work? How much is a comfy bar the thing? We're going to talk about all of that right now. So how does the comfy area work? Well, it is a big spear that you can't see. I've stacked a whole bunch of comfy areas here right in the center, and it is six away, and it will fall off about right about there. So it is about a 12 by 12 spear. It will go up about six, down about six, and then in just a big sphere. Now, you don't need to make your base this big. You can, of course, but we're trying to talk about early game and to late game. Um, making it base that's good enough for early game and that will kind of travel with you to the late game without having a mess like I do. I usually make a base with the idea that I'm going to go later, I'll build it all out, and then I'm so used to my garbage and all my mess that I never end up making it look nice and it looks like garbage all the way to the end of the game. So we're going to talk about how to maybe set yourself up for success with a base that will work all the way towards late game. Uh, so I recommend a 5x5 five five to start off with from that's about from there to there to there to there. What's the good thing about this? If you put all your comfy stuff for some reason in one little square on this side, it will last all the way to about here's where it run out. So it'll give you a good radius all around your, your base to keep your comfort in. So I'm going to let Pete here take a load off while we talk about comfiness levels. So on screen here, we're going to have level one of comfiness starts at 500 comfy and you unlock mainly the fireplace and the fireplace parts, and also Kozen's hunger rate reduction, which is 50% reduction to your hunger rate while you're in your coziness range. Level two at 1,000 will unlock a few extra pieces, uh, but also Hauling Hero 1, which will give you five extra boost to how much you can carry. So you go from five to 10 with that mutation. And also you'll get the cozy hunger and thirst rate of 50% reduction while you're in your base. Next up, once you've hit 1500 cozy points, you'll unlock level three of your coziness. You'll maintain your same cozy thirst and hunger rate reduction. Also, you'll unlock hauling hero phase two. And the best thing I think is the hot tub. Unfortunately, you can't build that until you reach the upper yard, but hopefully you'll be hitting that upper yard area soon. At level four, uh, 2000 cozy points, you'll unlock a few pine cone pieces. Your final level of hauling hero. Also, you'll unlock coziness heal in your base, which is a very slow passive heal while you're in your base. It's not that useful, but might as well. And for the final level at 3000 coziness points, you unlock a lot of different decorative items plus the pedal bed. That is our goal. So here we just have a simple early game build. We have a couple pallets. We have some dew collectors, some lights, a lot of the early game stuff you're going to need anyway that you'll be building regardless of what you're doing and you'll have. So coziness level one, which we've already have, is pretty to obtain. Now with that first one, we're gonna get the chimney and I would recommend building it. That's gonna give you a lot more cozy. Now it gives you with one, two, three and a bit of cozy. And from the testing I've been doing, I've guessed that this is about 20 cozy points. Um, and so for the maximum bar, you get about 200 cozy points. So two, four, six, geez, 70 ish points for each piece. And of course you have the chimney, which is about the same half chimney, which is a lot less, uh, the clover roof, which you'll have access to then and the vent pretty good coziness already. Now for every piece you put down, you get the full coziness value, but for each one that repeats, you will get 10% of this. So it's not worth it to just spam the same thing you can for really high value cozy things, but realistically you, you don't need to. And I don't recommend doing it. Uh, you can get enough coziness just from building a lot of these unique pieces. So let's go ahead and upgrade our little base. All right, so we've built the chimney out. I use every piece. So the one with the clover attachment, 
uh, the bigger piece, the smaller piece, and the little topper, just so that I get each unique piece's coziness level. And as we go inside, we'll hit level two. Also, as a little hot tip for this thing, you know you can adjust the color? Isn't that nice? Wow! For a nice cozy feel, right? So now we're at level two, we have a couple more items that we can use. So I've put out a few of the newer items here that you can get at tier two and just some other decorative items. Now you can, if you want to push yourself all the way to tier three on this one, not recommended unless you really want to get that hauling hero now. Uh, at this point of the game, the way you really would get to the next level would be to get the different statues that are around the labs. There are three that are really easy to get. There's the aphid that's in the hedge, there's the koi that's in the pond and the weevil that's in the haze lab. Now I'll have a video about where to find those, etc. but those will give you some big old stat boosts. So I put out the aphid statue, the weevil statue, and of course we put out the koi statue out here next to the water so you can see what he'll never have. And of course we have the basketball hoop that I put out here earlier. Uh, and we're almost to the next level of coziness. Now to push yourself to the next level, I would recommend making like stuffed uh, things that pretty good coziness. Now you can't, you can spam these, but realistically you one each. And there's a lot of early things you can make. So let's make a little aphid. And by touching him, which this is actually good for all of the stuff ones, you'll ha get higher loot luck for your this creature that you touch. So if you're trying to find a certain gold card or maybe get the speed droplet, make sure you craft this to get and touch it to get that extra bonus. Same thing for all the mounts. So you get a small amount of coziness, but this will increase the damage towards that creature. Now there's a little issue on the wording here. On this one, it says active to receive, activate to receive a temporary damage bonus against this creature. Um, and people have been getting confused and I'm not sure which one it's supposed to be. If I had to guess, it's against this individual creature. Putting it on the wall it will give you, and touching it will give you extra damage. Although on the tool tip here, it says infected damage, increased damage dealt against infected creatures. I don't know which one's true. I have to believe that it's whichever one you put up is the one that you're getting the extra damage to, not all infected. Same thing for this little guy. It says harmless. I don't think it will also affect all, all the other harmless bugs, but it's hard to say one way or the other. So put up a couple easy to make mounts, like there's a red ant mount, and boom, we're up to four already. So I slept here just to reset it to the morning. Uh, we're at coziness level four, but to really go higher, uh, you're going to have to go into upper yard, which is okay. In order to build the pedal bed, you're going to need tier three items anyway. So you'll have to have your tier three ax, tier three hammer, and start collecting tier three goods up there. So let's go ahead and build out the base a little bit based on the things you're going to need and craft as you progress through the game. Okay, so I've added a couple of things. I'm not sure if I said it before, but I added a little pet house outside. Um, these are all things that you'll be able to unlock and get once you go into the upper yard. And so let's go inside. And as you see, as I step in the center, we're at level five. Now, I didn't build anything too useless. There's a couple of things like the spiny, like a regular uh, stuffed water flea and stuff like that. The hot tub, which is big boy comfort. As you can see, it's a full thing. It does take a lot of uh, materials. And if you get inside, it does give you a passive heal, but not really the point. Your point is just trying to get to level five. I uh, build a couple chairs and obviously have our weevil and our aphid and our, our big old fireplace. I moved all the stuff over here just to be a little more compact on the working area. And of course we still have the old bed, but since we're at level five, now we have unlocked the new bed, the pedal bed. Now, unfortunately this little sucker is pretty large. Uh, so you may have to do a little reorganization to, just to fit it where you want to, but by sleeping in it overnight, you'll get the comfy defense and comfy energy. And that's all day, which I believe is about 12 hours in game time, uh, but it's worth it. It's definitely, uh, if you're working on the in-game stuff, it's good to have in-game buffs like that and they're free. You just get them every single day you sleep, uh, especially if you're playing on world mode, which I do a lot. And that's how you get to level five comfy pretty easy without having to make too much useless junk. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, come find me live on this channel. I stream about six to eight days a week uh, at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So I hope to see you around. If you found this video enjoyable, please hit me with that like. And if you think you want to see more, hit me with that subscribe. And then until later, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.